Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully everybody's joining us this hey, evening. Mickey. Mickey, thank you so much for hopping on here. I know this is almost a back-to-back -back live, but you know what? We are going to celebrate with our family and friends. So we're going to give a little bit of time um, for everybody to hop on here. I know it's after five o'clock. A lot of people are like nine o'clock's here. They're not here. Bye-bye. But um, we'll give it just a minute. Good evening to you as well, Mickey. There it goes. There's Tina. Hey, Tina. Yeah, we got a couple of the kiddos. There's Pierce. Pierce. Hi, Pierce. Tell P Pierce what we just finished doing. I was going to say, Pierce got to be excited. Yeah. We just finished um, cleaning and waxing our traps today. Yeah, yeah. We just finished waxing them about five minutes ago. And uh, I told them, I was like, we got to hurry because we're going to go ahead and go live and uh, break the news and celebrate with all of y'all. Um, it's been a, a terrific day. I was like a little kid today um, following the UPS guy. So we'll kind of go into a little bit of that here in just a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully everybody's doing wonderful today. Thank you all so much. I know we've got so many new subscribers and it's amazing. And followers, thank you all so much for all y'all's love and support. Phyllis, Alice, Wanda, thank you all so much for hopping in here. Cindy and Candy. Connie. Donna. 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 You said that's awesome. Y'all y'all be careful. You can burn the wax and it will smell. Yeah. I use Zet high traffic floor wax and hang them for two weeks. Yeah, they um uh, we used I don't remember what the name of that wax was. I don't know. It was a big old block that was sent to us. And uh we put it in a big old pan and melted it down and we just finished hanging them. We put uh, we put them in acid yesterday, and we let them set for probably I don't know 18 hours or so, and cleaned them up. We got some more. We got to get out tomorrow. Yeah. Hey Neil, how are you, Beth? Thank y'all so much for hopping on here. Jacob says, "Guess Kason's in bed." Yeah, Kason's not feeling great, so he gets to go see the doctor tomorrow. Yeah. And then. Yes. Um, Addison, I took the girls both to the doctor today, to get Leighton to the doctor yesterday, day before yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, day before. No, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. So it's been a week of doctors, but Braylee is good. Um, her tonsils were a little bit swollen, so they did a strep test, and she's negative. But the reason we took her in was because she, her ears was hurting the other night. Um, Addison does have an ear infection. And then Kason. Pretty sure he's probably got strip throat. Yeah, he his throat. Hey, hurting. Nick, how are you? So. Hello from Indiana. Yeah, we're going to let the kiddos hang out just for a little bit. We're letting everybody get in here because I want to share this with y'all. Um, we've already had our time with it, and uh, I want to share it. I, a lot of people's probably like, oh, well, it's just a plaque. But if you have a YouTube channel and you put any time in a YouTube channel and you ever accomplish this go, it's amazing. And uh, I ain't going to lie if it didn't bring a tear to my. But um, uh, UPS has got an app where you can track your drivers. So this morning I got a notification saying, Hey, your package is going to be here. So I've tracked him all day long and I finally said, I can't wait no longer at four o'clock. I had to go track him down. And uh, sure enough, I found him and um, I was like, it's going to make me sign for it. And he was like, no, this one don't make you sign. But I clicked a button and uh, he was like, is this it? Because he, he, he watches us and stuff. And I was like, yeah. And he, you know, gave me a fist bump and uh, congrats. He was super excited. And we kind of told him, um, about our mailbox y'all don't know that yet but we got a mailbox out front um so yeah so we got about 300 people in here and we're not going to make y'all wait any longer um hey kevin Lori, nick zoe and Elle, wanda yes everybody Lori, the only one i ain't seen in here yet is, oh there he is Dean. Right there. oh he's he's been saying come on now show me Oh, we're working on it. I'm mm -hmm. getting close. Getting close. And uh, bring it to the Okie so I can hold one. It's amazing. <laughs> You'll have one. 
Soon enough. Who said that? Nick. Nick. Soon enough, you will. It, it can happen overnight. It, it really could. That's kind of like what ours happened. How's ours worked out? You know, we did get to about 57,000 and then it just exploded. And um, hey, Lori, how are you? Um, that was a great video with you and Greg yesterday. I watched that. He looks really good and we're going to continue praying and stuff. And um, we're super excited about seeing you next week. Hey, Nick, I'll race you. <laughs> race you to the finish line. Yep. You know, our family, or me and the girls, well, not girls, me and the kids. Brandon's, I don't, I don't think you're very competitive. I, I, would, I wouldn't say, but me and the kids are very competitive. So you put something where there's a finish line and... You're more than welcome, Lori. We'll All right, guys. So this is it. This is it. The moment of truth. The moment of <laughs> truth. She said, um, "There should be a piece of paper here." It's under it. Hey, Channel and seeds. <laughs> Means I have to go eat turkey. Let's see it. All right. We're going to give this to Steph. Can we read it again? Yeah. Let's read it for them. It's going to be in a video, so y'all be sure to watch the video. Do you remember your first subscriber, your hundredth subscriber, or your one thousandth subscriber? Chances are you do, and we know that you'll definitely remember your a hundred thousandth subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe hey, you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with this Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. We know that you have many more stories to share with your community. And we know your fans can't wait for you to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next. And we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your mil millionth subscriber, we may just write to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000th subscriber? Yours sincerely, Neil Mohan, YouTube CEO. That is awesome. I couldn't imagine a million. Um, Daniel's working on that. And uh, here you go. You want to help me raise it up there, bub? Yeah. Sissy? There it is. Look at it, guys. Isn't that amazing? That is so amazing. Look at that mirror inside of it. I've never been so proud to hold something um, like this. It's uh, And I can't thank you all enough for helping us reach our goals. And uh, just this is amazing. Um Look at the glare. Pierce said, oh, shiny. Yes, it is really, really shiny. That's and what Kevin says. Sure is shiny. You have, you've been polishing that? No, no. that's the way it come down. And um, honestly, when we. Is there uh, a scratch on it? No, it's somebody's. Oh, I was trying to get you. It. No, it ain't got no scratch on it. But um, we're going to actually, I'm going to post it right there. And then once we get in our, our new house. It's going to go in our living room, and then hopefully, um, hopefully the the next goal is to get Stephanie one, and then we'll have two of them side by side, and we'll just kind of go on up from there. So, thank y'all so much for all y'all's love and support to our family, and uh, I can't thank all of our friends uh, enough. Uh, I don't even want to name anybody because I'm going to leave somebody out and leave them, but you know who y'all are. Um, this path wasn't easy, but it's one of those deals. If you want it bad enough, you will work. And I ain't going to lie. I wanted to quit a couple times. And um, I will say the, the one time I really, really wanted to quit, um, God intervened that day. And he actually put Mike in my way um, with Fowler Family Farm. It was weird. Um, but God was like, you're not doing this. You're going to get back on the the uh, the narrow and it, i just needed to hear words from him so it's amazing how god can pass messages through other people so there you said after steph's turn uh then it will be layton's turn yep mm. i look at them all there check out stephanie's channel uh get her to the hundred thousand 
That's amazing. So I am going to put this baby back up until I get it ready to go on the wall. Um, He's our baby. Yeah, that's our baby. Oh, Math Man gifted five memberships. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's, that's Thank so you so sweet. much. And um, tomorrow, um, on I hate mentioning this because uh, I know everybody can't do the membership deal, but y'all are going to get a sneak peek at what's going on up the hill. Up the hill. So this is amazing. Thank y'all again. Um, man, I've been on fire all day waiting for that. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and tell, tell them the UPS story since you're on it. The UPS. I did. Tracking, Tracking them. them down? Yeah. Oh. Where you been? Yeah, I've been you? I've been ignoring you. Yeah. No, I've been reading comments and I can't read and listen at the same time. Andale, 1999. Congratulations. Uh, words of wisdom. Thank you so much, Andale. And uh, thank you for all your kind messages. Um, and, and once again, um, speaking of that, there was one night that um, Andale had a message that come across. Um, I, I watched that night or that morning, and I was in one of those, one of those moments. And, um, you know, once again, God sent a message through another person. And this person was, you know, uh, in another state. For some reason, I've always thought she lived in Texas. I don't know why, but I believe she lived in North she, Carolina. North Carolina. So, but God's got amazing ways how to change. Just, yeah, it's awesome. Math Man sent $2, said, Congrats, Eddie family. And then I seen on here, he just posted, um, Congrats on the 100000 sent $10. Awesome. Thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Neil. Mary says, have they started building your house yet? No. You need to, put, you need to oh. put that back in there so it doesn't... They haven't started yet, but they are getting close. Um, they close, was close. they was actually here um, the other day um, walking a new contract or a, a superintendent around showing the area and uh, we're getting close. So they said 30 days the... Um, yeah, 30 days was they were going to bid out next yeah, week bids. but up to 30 days or something like that yeah how's the wrestling going Layton? uh wrestling season is sadly over but we got baseball season now yeah mm -hmm. baseball season's coming around yeah congratulations from florida eddie jones says congratulations can't wait i did um, for the sneak peek yes i look for you some bats today but i was like huh, no. <laughs> yeah. i was like yeah never mind yeah they're happy for those congratulations eddie family a blessing from god yes it is becky it definitely is pat how are you awesome on up, up, up on the, the hill, hill has step got to step. be great news yes. i guess i shouldn't have said up on the hill because that makes it think let's just say it's not the house well just so here in the next few days, if you see a video that says breaking ground, hey, yeah, it's not the house. I wanna wanna let y'all know it's not the house. And um because but we are excited about this. It's 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 amazing. It's a another it's everything's been awesome this week, but I hate when everything's going smooth. I really do when everything's smooth. Um because you know somebody's always got to try to intervene to make a curve in the road so um but we're going to enjoy it and we'll just battle it when it gets here wake up late ned said way to go uncle rocky said way to go Nick said he's Eddie gonna come. give it away kevin he will <laughs> if he keeps talking up oh, new member to jim save awesome thank you so much for joining and Pierce says, I'm going to go eat, but I want to say congratulations, keep it up, and have a great night. Top chain, Slayton. Yeah. Um, says, I just love how God can make his, make his will known. Yes, 100%. I believe that all the way. Uh, uh, Karen says, where's the chicken man? Well, I only see two kids. The other two are feeling down. Addison's got an ear infection, and you know her with she don't stay up late. And then Kaysen, 
We're taking him to doctor tomorrow. We're thinking maybe he's got a round of the strip. Yeah. My picture is frozen. That's just one person. So let's see because mine's good. Uh, Neil says Leighton has gone from throwing people around to hitting balls with a big stick. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He loves that wrestling though. He really does. And uh, I hate that we missed out a couple years um, with all that other stuff that, that you know, lady stuff. Yeah. Um, because we was on the right path. We still are. He just got a little bit behind. Um, let's see. Have you lost any more chickens? Um, not chickens, but guineas. We've lost, uh, actually, uh, uh, yeah, a guinea and a, a chicken, but we've got, uh, we've got all the traps up, um, right now we're cleaning them, getting them ready to go back out. Do you see the chicken pen? Uh, uh top one. Busted. Uh -uh. Oh, is it busted? Yeah. At the bottom. Chickens huh? can't get out. Oh. Yeah, so it, it's always something um, with the predators for sure. Uh, if we missed any comments, just comment again. Yeah, if you have any questions. Congratulations, the uh, the good Lord has so much more coming for y'all, um, all of us to see. I'm excited for you all. Yes, he has, and it. It's amazing. And I was actually talking to some co the contractors today and um, I told him, you know, it's so crazy how fast our life has, has moved in the last couple years. You know, almost two years ago, we went from living in a city to moving out to a country with nothing. And now we've got all these animals. Yes, we don't have a home yet, but home is where you make it. And that's what we taught our kids. Home is where you make it. It don't matter what it is. Hey, we don't go without. We we live every day, and it's perfectly fun. Uh, garden soon? Doing any planting? We are going to be doing a garden. I don't know if we'll do it until um, we actually leave the or get back from the expo. Yeah, probably best to wait. Yeah, because we got to keep it watered and stuff like that. Man, what's better, 100,000 subs or pushing down trees with the new tractor? Hundred thousand subs. Pushing Honest, down trees. Honestly, um, yeah, I I can't even joke about it. It's so amazing. Bonnie says I remember Leighton wrestling as a little guy. Yep. Me too. It was fun. We see videos pop up on Facebook or something, and we're like, "Oh, look, little Leighton, my first ever win." Was in where? Duncan. That's right. Was Duncan the fourth place match? Fourth yeah. and third place match. It was. The, the welder's gonna warp the panels. And that was like six years ago. Mm, close quarters for the kids. When you're in the house, the extra space will make a difference. Feel free. Or feel better, kiddos. Yeah. How is where you hang your hat? There we go right here. The devil always tries to mess everything up. Just say, get behind me, Satan. In the name of the Lord and say, Jesus Christ. No. Thank you, Lori. Smash that like button. Congratulations. Yes, I know it. No, I'm getting on our live. So we can see the comments. So we can see the comments on Facebook. You might. Look at some Trying um, to go through. Just give her the old tractor, Brandon. <laughs> what old tractor? The, the new tractor. Um, how's Leighton feeling tonight? How are you feeling tonight? Alice. Um, I mean, I'm not feeling too bad. Exciting. Oh, oh, I thought you were like, if I was sick or not. Well, um, are you sick? Like you kind of acted like it. It was hurting earlier, but it's probably just a headache. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm excited about the plaque, and I'm excited that I get to set my traps out again tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. Or a couple of weeks. We to we'll let them set for a few days, but we can't. I mean, we've got the other ones to wax, but we can't leave them unset for very long. I mean, 
Uh, George says, congratulations. You, uh, Phyllis says, you have a beautiful family. Wendy says, God bless you guys from North Carolina. Rick said, I was missing my two Pyrenees that died and found you with the first set of puppies. Oh, really? Yeah. That's that's sad. awesome. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm sad that you're, uh, you yeah. told me the story. I'm sad, but I'm glad you was able to uh, get one and make you company. We are celebrating that the people that just hopped on anyways, we're celebrating that the YouTube plaque finally came in. Do you think the solar who owls will hoot and scare some predators? I'm not for sure. I, I really, really don't. Poor boy eraser wants to know how you become a member. Um, there's a green button. I think once you click on our channel, and you click on that, and it gives you the choice. Denise says, I've been watching you build your farm. Well, thank you so much. Um, Hi, Brandon Stephanie. So happy and excited to see all the wonderful things happening on your lovely farm. Home is where you are all together. Congrats on hitting that many viewers. Love you also. Yes. It says, I will... Uh, it would be fun to count states and, and countries represented on one of your lives. Maybe Leighton could track. Congratulations on 100,000 subs. Yes, and, and we, we used to do that when we was in the other room. The only issue is we don't have a wall here. Maybe, maybe we'll get a board. We do have a map that we went to each state, and we even had some people in different countries um, uh, uh, you want to tell everybody good night? Miss Shy, Shy Girl. You want to tell them good They're your friends. What are the traps used for? The traps are used for any predators that get close around the animals or get even around the property because once they get up here, it's our oh, last line of defense. Oh, you don't want to go to bed because I was going to take the phone. I see how you were. Yeah, she wanted to go watch TV. I figure that's what it was. Or just yeah. let y'all stay up a little late to you got two more celebrate. Minutes. Two more minutes. You got to go. Go lay down. All right. Let me get back over here and read some of these comments. Can't see my password. Uh, it'll be on my phone what, every day. What game is Braley playing? Uh, she's, she's just watching, looking at the, the she, comments. Yeah. I yeah. figured since I had my old phone and the other two were asleep that she could have a phone. <laughs> Layton's actually got his phone. And she went just played T-ball. And that's why she, her hair's all braided and stuff is because they have pictures for T-ball tonight. Brandon looked like he was easily having too much fun knocking those trees down. It was amazing. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Susan Layton's fun. He's just he is more of our quiet one. Every so often, he doesn't talk as much as the other ones, or may, he doesn't like talking on camera as much as the other. Wendy ones. says it is strange where some homesteaders lose animals, but some never do. Cog Hill Farm. In Alabama has a lot of chickens and has never uh, listed one of the predators. Nice. Lost one of the predators. Well, he's probably they're, they're, always had them in coops too. Th no, know. his his runs. There, there's a couple reasons. Um, you know, it just really depends what part of the area you're in. And with us living by the creek, we, I mean, it draws in predators. Um, we have tons of hawks and owls, um, as y'all seen when we moved here. Now, hopefully later on, you know, we can keep them away um, because I will say last year we, we got 18 to 20 raccoons. We probably caught three this year. Um, and uh, nothing against uh, other channels, but we show everything. We, we, we document everything um, with our family and um, we do the good and the bad. And I, I know some people don't like seeing the good but we're going to show it all uh, just like basically we don't really know what we're going to record that day we get up like 
and get a camera and just start going out. I don't record feeding the animals all the time because everybody don't want to see that. But um, every now and then, you know, I'll show a glimpse of it. But, you know, we got other things going on through the day. We just document our life. All right. Y'all want to? Yeah. Say Time goodnight. to hit the road. Goodnight, y'all. Y'all got school tomorrow. Layton's got midterms. <laughs> oh, let me check on Kason because he was asleep. And he's on. Poor Kason. Poor Kason. He's been going through it the last few days. <clears throat> um. Bu- 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 Great to see Braley and Layton. Yes, Doris. Hopefully, Addison, usually by 8 o'clock, she's in bed. Uh, she's done for the count. Um, Kevin says, hello to my favorite you Oklahoma family. Hope all is well. Never joined your live on Facebook. Join YouTube. Kevin from Massachusetts. Well, thank you so much for coming over and joining um, that reminds me, I got to get some videos uploaded for Facebook. Uh, good evening from Missouri. Love your family and animals. Thank you so much. Um, last year we caught, uh, Lori said last year we caught three raccoons and lost a few chickens until we caught them. Yeah, the, the raccoons are, are really, really... Um, bad in this area so mainly it's the raccoons and um, bobcats and you you have your air predators but with us getting the black chickens and letting them run the property it has slowed down on them they will they will fly over but i have not seen one actually take a dip in the ground i don't know if it's the black chickens or the turkeys Uh, Tina said, keep trapping, won't have many uh, predators on the farm. Yes, we've got to because we spent too much time and money raising uh, the animals, and um, that's just part of of it. Yeah, the kids going to bed. Congratulations, night, good night. Yes. Um, he says, I have chickens and lost more to my owl or lost more to my own dog than predators. Yeah, luckily, uh, our dogs don't. I mean, when we first uh, started getting chickens, yes, we had to go through a phase with Toby and Dixie and Carly, but really, they haven't really messed with any of them. Yeah, I mean, everybody that's got animals loses them. And, you know, um, I wish we didn't lose them, but that's just kind of part of it. Big hugs for Captain Case. And yes, and he got his uh, shirt in the mail the other day. I forget who sent it to him, but um, we got better at uh, when we get packages uh, we leave them out there on the pallets, and when the kids get here, we record it and put it at the back of the video, or some of them's in the video. So uh, he was very, very pleased with that T-shirt. I don't know if we already showed that or not, but uh, he was ready to wear it. Uh, and says, it seems like every time you've released the video, you've gained another thousand subs. So happy for you. Yes, it's amazing. Um, it's a great feeling. Um, I don't know. I, honestly, it's really unbelievable. Um, I don't know what's going on. I know I've got a couple videos that's um, really going, um, that's hit a million. And um, I just hope they continue. You know, I, I know sometime it's at some point it's got to stop.
All right. Sorry about that. Um, we was talking, trying to decide if we wanted to take um, Kaysen to see a doctor tonight or tomorrow. We're just going to kind of monitor it through the night. He's still asleep. He just not feeling great. Can you can we show uh, show the play? But yes, I will be happy to do that. You it would be my pleasure. It would be my pleasure. I bet you them kiddos got it. I did. Yes, there it is. You know, and that's what I kind of talked about in the video today is, you know, growing up, even at Layton's age, um, starting football, they start putting your head, you know, you want to work hard to, you know, go get that gold ball, go get that gold ball. And um, my class, we made it to state um, one year, but we ended up getting beat. We never did get a state championship ring just because um, – our school, if you didn't win, you didn't get a ring. Layton's I know. Got a gold ring. Yeah, Layton's got one. He's got a gold ring and a silver ring, huh? And then Addison's got a silver ring. In school, they will not. Um, in school, they will not do a runner-up. So when we, you know, we hit the hundred thousand, um, that was like a feeling, kind of like if it was winning a state championship or something like that. Um, because we've worked so hard to get to this point. What? Yeah, it was over here with you, I think. Are you sitting on it? No. <laughs> it, look over there on that cabinet. It, it was ringing back there. Call it again, bug. That's so weird. It's like right here somewhere. Oh, it fell on your boot. Oh. All right. All right. Hopefully, we can get back on track here. Look, I knew I did something with it. Good night, Lori. Congrats on the thousand. Hoping he feels better and doesn't have to go to the doctor. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take him tomorrow just because he's going to need some kind of antibiotic. Um, but, yeah. And so for those who say it's just a plaque, let them start a YouTube channel and try to get one. You guys earned it. Keep being awesome. Thank you. Who's that? That was Ben Wallen. Yeah, it's it's amazing feeling. It really is. Um, yeah, it's just like you said, uh, Dutch found a large snapping turtle in his hog. Yes, he did. I couldn't stop laughing. I, I was, it was amazing me. It was crazy. Luckily, luckily, um, he found it without just reaching down there. I'm afraid I would have just reached down there. But I know people's worried about the uh, snapping turtle going to grab the dog's leg or whatever. That ain't going to happen. Um, Jackie says, y'all are so real to life and down to earth. That is why I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing your videos daily. Thank you, Jackie. Stanley and, family is getting ready for the expo. We're really I know. excited about that. Ed says nine days till the expo. Yes, nine days. Till I know. The I expo. need to start packing because it takes nine days to pack for the, this bunch. Six people. It's a bunch. Yeah. Hopefully, you get a lot of uh, a lot more subscribes at the Oklahoma State Expo. Yeah, you get to meet a lot of new people. It's amazing. Dean said, "I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to eat a bowl of strawberries." Well, you do that. You got some cream to go with those? Like, uh, what is that? Shortbread, strawberry? Strawberry shortbread. cheesecake? Yeah, no, strawberry shortbread, I think. Uh, Brendan, did you figure out where you was going to put the barn and how you was going to do it? Yes, we figured yes, it out. Yes, we figured it out. Um, we think we're going to do east to west. Yeah, east and west. Can oh he deleted it. Are you live or is this after Gail? This is live. We are live. Yep, strawberry shortcake. Oh, I said shortbread. Didn't I? Yeah, 
Shortcake. That's right. Uh, Nancy says, really enjoy your videos. Love watching your kids and animals. Reminds me of my childhood. Prayers for Kaysen. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. Um, and that's that's the whole deal. My goal, and, and I've said this before, is once we get a house and we get everything set up here and get the pins like we want them, my goal is to open this up so people can come down here and see the animals and just hang out and you know obviously if you know we're free or whatever you know us kind of hang out with people as well now we can't do that every day but you know it would be nice just to open it up to the public and i'm not saying no zoo or anything but but i'm saying there's people out there that has never seen goats in real life and um one of the girls that i used to work with um she was going through some cancer and stuff like that aaron and um she called me one day she she'd come out here before and she seen the animals and brought the kids out she was uh coming back from chemo one day she called me and she was like hey do you care if i just stop and just hang out with your animals i was like no go right ahead at the time all we had was this barn here um so she came out and she she was she sat here for like 45 minutes she said and it was just peaceful and it, there's something about animals it's amazing um betty says good to hear case is on the antibiotics and you're watching him close he's been through so much for a young boy yeah and that's what i was knocking on wood a lot because it's been kind of rainy season a little bit and this kid, I haven't had to start Dimatap. I haven't, he hasn't got a mosquito bite. Now, he did have a bump on his face yesterday, but he was outside all day um, or all evening. And so I was watching it really close. I was hoping that wasn't why he was, his throat was kind of hurting, but it wasn't. And so I don't know. Well, we're just going to take it as it comes. Um, which state are you in that is getting help? Um, we're in Oklahoma. Brian, you mentioned you didn't know why sub started climbing. I can tell you why you are putting out dependable, honest, real videos. Thank you. Well, thank you. Who said that? That was Lori. Lori Book. Well, thank you. And, and that's the deal. We just share your, share our life and it. I was so amazed because um, I can remember when we lived in town, you know, we tried to come up with ideals to make stuff and do things. And, and then I started seeing people enjoy watching us do family things. And I was just like, wow, I was amazed how many people um, enjoyed that. But I didn't realize it until probably a year ago that there was so many people that are so lonely and don't have family that comes around or they don't get to see people or interact with them and once i figured that out through all the emails that's what kind of grabbed me closer to be more open with everybody and let y'all in to our family so y'all are a part of our family even though we can't see y'all we interact with y'all and uh, i hope y'all every one of y'all feel the same way um, Linda says, Stephanie, I'm a caregiver and having trouble watching both channels. I love them both. That That's no problem. Mm. We don't expect anybody to watch both. Yeah, we have tons of friends that we don't get to watch all their channels. I, I mean, all their videos. So that is that is no problem at all. Um, da -da -da -da. Feathered Friends Homestead. Animals are very therapeutic, especially when you have had a bad day. Troy says, too boring. Watch your live chat. I know this is live, but if I have more than four commercials per video, I unsubscribe. Well, good night. Have a good night, Troy. Oh, I don't know that. They must have put it back up. Your channel is keeping me going. Love the kids, animals, and all you do for them. Linda just became a basic member. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lord, uh, Linda. Yeah, Tina, you're right. We have no control 
control over the the ads that YouTube puts in. You have to work harder on Stephanie's channel. We have to work harder on Stephanie's channel. Yep. This has been a bad year for sickness with children at the church. One little 10-year-old boy has pneumonia and one lung. The sickness seems to keep going around in the church. Yeah, and that's this time of year, every year, the hospitals get flooded with strep or just sinuses or sinus infections or everything, colds, flu, everything goes especially hard right at this time of year. So we expect it, and we have the medicine to get it to him right then until he can get to the doctor or any of them can get to the doctor. Linda says, so true, Brandon. My family only see once a year. Yes, I, I, I understand that. Um, I will say that the past year, my relationship with my dad and, and brother uh, has got really, really good. I still got a, a brother that is, he's trying to recover. Um, and I still interact with him. He just, we just don't open the doors to let him fully in because um, we just, we just hope that one day he can overcome his uh, problem. Um, Ed says, Stephanie's voice in the key of D, she's keeping, she, she keeps setting my tuner off on my guitar. <laughs> what does that mean? I guess it's a... I'm like, you're laughing, but what do you know a, what it really means? A good sound, I guess. <laughs> uh, Brandon Harris says, good evening from Long Grove, Oklahoma, my friends. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Heard, uh, bad, weather, heard bad weather is headed your way. You prepared... It's not bad, bad. We got a little bit Thursday, um, some rains and thunderstorms, but it. I haven't heard of anything worse than that. Yeah. Uh, OG said, Brandon, you need trees gone easily. Get Daniel Arms, come over with the force machinery, or mulch it. He's got it on the skits there. Yes. Uh, if I had a bunch, I'd probably reach out to him. I just had a couple. Um, that's where I was going to put the building. So, Gail, if we're reading a comment that you don't see, it's because we're on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I have a video for the name Eddie Family and Fellowship when you open it up after the house is finished. Oh. Um, let's see. Seventy. did you finally find a home for the last two pups? We got one, one left. pup left. We got one left. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ooh, that long one. Um, we do feel like a family. Thank you for opening your family to us. I try to watch everything from both channels, but sometimes just run them while I'm doing chores and keep my ear on it. Oh, I was reading it off the phone. Yep. That's sometimes what we do. Or like a lot of times Brandon will be, well, I know for sure every live that Kevin is, Brandon's sitting right here um, watching and listening and I'm over on the bed um, listening and doing sometimes, most of the time I'm watching too, just on my phone, but usually just listening. We just have the volume going up mm -hmm. and like um, a lot of times we get to do that because they go live late like us um, like Nick and them when they go live on Sundays I know that one day was Sunday because cleaned out the barn. I would just listen and um, just sometimes that's what you got to do, but <laughs> I love knowing what our friends are doing and keeping up with them. And like I said, it's hard to keep up with everybody, but, um, you know, you might not get to watch every one of them, but you, you'll get to watch some. Neil said, you do realize that if you held a subscriber meetup, you may need to hire a large sports stadium. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, when we did the one, when we was 10,000 subscribers, say, how many subscribers were we? we, well, we, we just hit 10,000 right before, right before we hit 10,000 subscribers, we rented the expo out and we had to open the second bay. 
Yeah, Kevin said, yeah, those 6 p.m. lives are tough. We had it planned while working in the greenhouse. That's kind of why we're a little bit later this evening. Like, luckily, we got to start at 9.05, but that was cutting it close because I get home. Braley's practice was till 7.30, and then I had to run by the grocery store, and I got home, made hamburgers, and um, I just did chips with the hamburgers. I wasn't going to. I was trying to hurry up and get them to bed. And, yeah, we luckily got it done by about 9 o'clock. Nick said, we'll take it, Kevin. I know if you have something to say, I'll get a message later. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if I hear something, you know, I'll, I'll jump on there and say something. But um, it's just neat to see what's going on. We're about giving up on y'all for the night. <laughs> Kevin said. Trudy says, I listen middle of the night here in the UK. Sometimes I'm asleep like 3 a.m. and hopefully we'll soon left with a little night owls like you, Brandon. Yeah, I'm definitely a night owl. OG Judy says, now you need to build a go-kart, pull you around. So we've been yeah. in the talks of that. Not necessarily a go-kart, but some kind of... Um, Doom buggy. It's a goat cart. Oh. She's talking about put goats on the front and you ride it. Oh. I, I, <laughs> but yes. See, I just make. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do that. I want to do that in the pond. Yeah. Whirl it all up. And I'm kind of, oh, if I have something to say, dirty hands or not. I'm going to say it, phone will wash. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, is Kaysen going to get more eggs at the expo to hatch? Um, I think we're going to do a swap with uh, Cassie. Yeah. Um, just let you on the secret. Kaysen set some eggs. He's got some eggs. That will be coming out in a video here pretty soon. Yes, I think Stephanie should be driving the tractor. If not, just order a spare radiator. Plus, Stephanie is the boss. Just saying. Well, I, 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 I drove it a few times. Now, trying to get dirt, I tried it, and he kind of showed me how. She's got to have more practice with the, the clutch on going in and, and, you know, letting off the clutch, trying to fill the scoop in. It's just going to okay. take time, but uh, moving around the property, she does really good. Like um, he said, when you're just driving it, don't put it like halfway. You need to either have the clutch all the way in or not have it on at all. But I guess digging dirt, you kind of go back and forth really slow and I give up just for now till I have time to actually practice. Congratulations, Brandon and Stephanie. Love being a part of your YouTube family. Love your videos and family. Well, thank you so much. We're glad you're a part of it. Hello, Brandon and Stephanie. Hope y'all are well. Yes, we're doing wonderful, especially with this pretty, pretty, pretty play button. <laughs> uh, Kathy said, maybe you should concentrate on poor Case and maybe he needs to be seen sooner than tomorrow. And then I like... Uh, Connie's comment right here says, at Kathy, don't worry about Kaysen. These parents take great care of him. Yeah, we, after having four kids, we know when to take them to the doctor or if they're okay to, like right now, when I went and checked on them. That's a helicopter. Like that's low. But um, when I went and checked on them, he was um, sweating like drenched in sweat. And what that is, is that he broke his fever. And if he breaks his fever, that's great. There's nothing else. I mean, yeah, he can go get some antibiotics, but we're you just don't gonna get, monitor yeah, him while he sleeps. He'll get it tonight. first thing in the morning. Each so. one of the kids that what we've learned with the kids, we know how they act. Uh, we know when they're out of their ordinary. We know when we walk in the house and they're acting weird, we know they're up to something. And even to the point is, we even know who just come out of the bathroom when they go to the bathroom. Because yeah. each child has a different odor. <laughs> That's a little too personal, Brandon. 
hope the kids are asleep. <laughs> but um, it was kind of like this morning. Kasem said his throat was hurting a little bit, but if anybody, if y'all see Kasem every single day, he does not want to go to school in the morning. He is a sleep person and he wants to sleep as long as he can. He will come up with the wildest things just to get to stay home. I mean, yeah. I did keep him home one time. And I mean, now I can tell that, yes, I should have took him to the doctor because, but that's, you just don't know. And yeah. the school was fine. They never sent any um, text home or nothing. So with him, if he, if he wants to stay out of school, we're going to the doctor. We're going to get shots if we have to get shots. So we leave it up to him. And that's how we know if he's sick. If he if he refuses food, we know he's sick. Nada said, yep, that's right. Fever broke. Any news on Red Bear? No, no, no goat puppies yet. No goat puppies yet. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Yes, yeah, so keep keep casing in your prayers. Keep all of them in your prayers. Being in tight quarters, strip will probably pass the whole house up. Well, if it's going to get us, I want it now. Yeah, we want it now before next, next week. week. Yes, for y'all that's just joining, um, that's what the great news is, is the YouTube plaque has made its arrival. And I'll be happy to show you again. I'm going to show it a few times. He says, yes, you are their parents. You know them. There it is. If he would have ran fever, school would have called. Yep. It's a lot smaller than what I expected, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. Kevin said, um, get up, get it over with. Grab a spoon and share it. <laughs> Running your own dose? No. <laughs> I stay outside. That's pretty neat. Um, when I refuse food, you know that I'm not with you any longer. That was the thing that made me really like case and sick because I made really good hamburgers like Brandon ate two and I made really good hamburgers and case and took about three bites. And then what we is outside doing traps and he was fine. And he was like, I'm going to go inside. It's cold. Yeah. It's like it's cold. He's like, I was like, it ain't cold outside. He's like, I need a jacket. And I'm like, you're sick, boy. And that's what it was. Uh, how many goat kids did 39 have? Gracie? So the last time that she had kids, she only had one. Well, two. Two. I can't even remember. Did, we, did she did we sell both of them? Yeah. Okay. Because she had Smokey, and she's got three, I think, out there right now. But they're grown. They're already having kids theirself. We're keeping a bunch of them on this go-around. We're keeping some of um, the mamas that have a bunch of kids, especially. Like Mama G, she's getting really old in age. And so we want to keep her genes, I guess, around. And, um, yeah. Because Mama G is Red Bear's mother. Yeah. And Red Bear has three, at least two, but most times um, she has three. Last year she had four. Well, I think one of them didn't make it, but she did. She had four. Well, Lisa said, I mailed you a package today. It should arrive Friday. There are goodies in it for all of you. I could let those babies eat in front of you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Did you did you go to the post office today too, mm -hmm. or you just chase down UPS? Um, I want or I don't want to see another vertical <laughs> video again. No, I'm gonna. He wants to be seen because. This is the last time he's going to be seen. He said he wants to unsubscribe. I'm not unsubscribing. All right, then. Uh, Randy and Chattanooga, how far do you live from Grojack family? Uh, we're about, probably about four hours. 
four or five hours. I think yours just yours shows everything, even if I delete it and stuff. Oh. Yours still shows it. I try to delete them so that you don't read them. How's your stomach, Brandon? Hey, it's it's been good the last couple of days, but it's been good the last couple of days, but I haven't had no coffee. Darn the luck. But coffee is not that great for you. Yeah. Yeah. For anybody. It tastes good, but I have done really, really good. Hey, to the point, I even ate my jalapeno pepper. What are, what are they called? Bacon wrap Bacon jalapenos. Wrap, yeah. We made some. Oh, and the kids were very upset because he just wanted to kind of try them out. So we only made 10. And, um, yeah. They was really good. He ate them all. Well, I, I ate one. But I kind of snuck it while he ran to the bathroom. Um, Kevin said, yeah, yeah, StreamYard still shows the deleted comments. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you ever find out about latent stomach stuff from your video today? Well, everything was good. Like the x-ray that they did on his belly, um, no kidney stones, nothing else. So the only thing that she thought that might be was maybe a little bit of constipation. Um, he says he goes regular all the time, but she felt around his belly and there was some goods in there. So that's the only thing that she could think. But he was fine today. So. Yeah, yeah, poppers. That's what it is. Uh, Tina said I had to stop drinking coffee because it bugged my tummy and started drinking tea. Um, Kim, all drink is thing. the cream soda. Cream soda. Kim said I was the same with Diet Coke as you are with coffee, but gave it up and drank water and carbonated water. Now stomach problems better. I could, I need to try that carbonated water because they're good. That's what I li I like that burn. I don't know if it'll burn, but it, it does. It, it has like that fizzy. Yeah. Some of them do anyways. I just drink my little lemonade packets and put it in the water. My husband drinks a thermos of coffee every day. Oh, I know. I mean, I'm not going to do it though. I've had two good days. Hmm. I bet Casey... I bet Kaysen will want to play hooky tomorrow. No, I bet he ain't going to be playing hooky. He ain't hooky. going. I'm not even yeah. waking him up in the morning. No, yeah. Because usually with him, if um, if he's sick, he's sick. That's how we can tell if he's just playing. Kevin said, just play around with the flavors. Some are better than others, so don't give up on just one just because you don't like one, like the black cherry. That's what Judy Gaga that's uh -huh. what she drinks is the black cherry ones. But um, you can don't buy a whole pack of one kind because you might not like it. Oh. Vicky says, I had problems with severe abdominal area. Scan showed slur and gallbladder, but on hold for surgery. Doctor prescribed Prilosec and one, one a day stopped my pain and have had no more problems for over two months. Can get it over the counter now. So, Brandon, you may want to try it. Hey, you've been I've taking the Prilosec. Yeah, I've got that. Um, it's weird. Knock on wood. Ever since I've quit drinking coffee, I don't have the acid reflex really bad. Um, in the mornings, I do still get up. and I'll, I'll take um, um, some Tums, uh, the acid pills. I, I quit taking those. I want to try just change some things up, and I'm keeping track of everything I eat and kind of go that way. I mean, today has been wonderful. Yeah, his favorite place still is Charleston's. Yep. He loves Charleston's. Uh, uh, do you drink Coke? No, I don't drink Coke. I used to be a really big Mountain Dew drinker. Now, if we go to a restaurant, I will drink uh, Dr. Pepper, but for the most part, 
I drink the cream sodas. Uh, my mother used to drink tons of water. Joe said, I asked the doctor one time if spicy foods was bad for your stomach. And his reply, how many Mexicans you know that have ulcers? So I keep eating spicy foods. So, Joe, that you say that, um, how many, go look, in, go look at the statistics, how many Hispanics have cancer? Yeah. Do some research on that. That's that's pretty wild. That's probably because you went on a spicy food kick for a while just because you was like, I'm not getting that cancer. So maybe that's what's going on. Remind me to tell you a story about Charleston's and Broken Arrow. If it's bad, I don't want to know. All right. <sighs> Chef says, oh, and also want to say I'm glad you didn't break your radiator on that tractor. That was awesome. You're getting a place looking nice, looking good. I knew when, when I hit it, I knew something wasn't right. Any kind of pop upsets my stomach and sees me problems. Heartburn really bad. And Dr. Pepper really messes it up. I don't drink. If I drink a lot of pop, it's because someone else has it in the house. But I like my water. I like my water. Um, didn't say we just finally got the trucks running again. Well, mine's got to go to the shop tomorrow. Yeah, probably want to. We'll take it in the morning. First thing in the morning. Yeah, I was checking on the animals there. You fight a tree, and the tree will fight back. Yes, it will. Luckily, I heard it and I stopped. Be careful about taking tons of Brandon as it has a lot of calcium. And if your calcium levels are normal, you can get kidney stones, which can be painful until they pass. Well, I'll tell you what, the the last couple days before the stall start, I almost went through a whole bottle of them. It was bad. Um, Kevin said, yep, but Kubota won. It did. It sure did. It, it took me forever, but hey, I got it out of there. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know what I said. Um, I'm Ozzy Cool said, hey, Steph, is your shirt a tease to the man of the family? It says, mama needs coffee. Oh. It's funny because I don't even drink coffee. I'm headed to bed now. Enjoy the chat. You all uh, live and being able to stay for a while. Enjoy watching you and your family. Prayers for Kaysen and he can get better soon. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Somebody said, Brandon had me laughing so hard with this rap singing while on the tractor. Can you sing for us tonight? Go ahead. Rap singing. Yeah. No. Nothing like that. <laughs> that was when he was being goofy, I think, down here. I don't remember that. Uh, Dean said we had two trucks down at the same time, and both of them were the ones we used for the gooseneck. Oh, Barbara says congrats on 100,000. Awesome. Thank you so much, Barbara. Cheryl is having radiotherapy at the moment and watching your farm and family is something I look forward to. Congrats on the YouTube award. Kevin said, just remember, Stephanie is always recording. Yep. There's yep. always, always cameras going somewhere. I think what he's getting at is I know you were rapping because I was the one recording. Oh, yeah. That's what, uh, when I talked to the contractors, I was like, the only question is, like, you got the job, but do you mind being recorded? And he was like, nope. So I was like, okay, you're good. 
you were singing, whoop, there it is. Oh, that's back in the day. <laughs> big Red is my soda. That used to be your soda, too, and Big Blue. Yeah, Big Red and Big um, Blue. When I was a kid, my granny called any kind of soda Polly Pop. Have you ever heard that one? Uh-uh. Ed's going horizontal. Got a busy day tomorrow. Yep, go to sleep in eight more days to the expo. I know, that means he only got a few more days yeah. to leave. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to stay on our full two hours. This is a special, uh, just a special hop on and celebrate this with y'all. And, um, you know, so when is this week's six hour outtake video coming out? Huh? I don't know. I didn't get that one, Neil. I tell my husband all the time, everything is content. Hello, Christine. Yeah. We decided on the front for the door. We decided east. Kind of, a lot of you suggested it and... We just kind of went with it. Yeah, the door is going to be east. Well, there ain't going to be doors. There's it's, no, it's just, an opening. It's wide open. I was shocked how big that thing is. Neil yep. wants the blooper reels. Oh, oh the blooper reels. Man, there's Good a night, bunch Lori. of them. A bunch of them. Hello from Kentucky. We had a beautiful day today. It was, Yes, it was beautiful here as well. Things that I got in just in time for your life. We were having a turkey fight. <laughs> Ela says, whatever happened to Fred? I love watching your videos. Big fan since you lived in the city and Brandon patrolling live. Well, he is in the freezer. Yep, Fred's in the freezer. He's been in there for a little while. About a fourth of him is in our belly. Maybe not even a fourth. I don't know. We ate quite of the meat, the ground. You need to make a com, com compilation, compilation video of the silly moments you've had. There's a bunch. There's there's a lot of times I just get in a cut up mood, and I just cut up and just have a good time, and then really it really depends on how I feel when I'm editing, whether I leave it in or. You know take it out so there he says i watch your videos on controlled burn on your farm we really need to do that third our 30 acre farm but i'm scared of fire y'all done a very good job on y'all's farm looks great y'all came a long ways work hard all the time praying for you all um god bless you God bless you all. You beautiful children are good helpers. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, I'm so shocked how many people are against controlled burns. Like, I mean, they see that we burn or burn a brush pile and does, they just go off crazy. It's just like, this isn't our first time. We're here down here from the south. This is what we do. Like in, in the, the wintertime, when it's kind of cool, if you got a brush fire, I mean, every weekend, that's what we did. We went to somebody's house and set a bonfire. And Karen got her blue eddie today. Oh, did she? Yep. I already posted a few minutes ago, but not sure if you saw it. I got my blue eddie today from your giveaway, November 24th. Thank you. I'm so glad you where, got it, Molly. Where, who was that? Very bottom. Very bottom, very bottom. Karen in the green, right up top. Okay, awesome. I'm I'm super excited that you finally got it. I was sorry for the delay. I didn't know what was going on because they was tracking me with everything. And then when they come back and said they couldn't send it. Uh, that's weird. A lot of places can't send to P.O. boxes. Uh, I, I guess know. UPS doesn't work with United States Postal Service. I don't know. That is awesome. I remember where we was when she won it. Do you? Yeah, right here. Uh -uh. We're in Locust Grove in a hotel. We mm. had a giveaway for something. We had a bunch of giveaways. Yeah. No, we had a giveaway because it was a, the the video was a giveaway. Well, we gave a bunch of things away. What what else did we give away? I don't remember. 
I know we had like several winners that day because I had them write them down. Tammy says, There's Nico. It's healthy for your land, and your arms has done the same thing. Yep. Yes. It's good for the soil. What's going on, Nico? Hey, buddy, I got to show you. Got to show you. It came in today. Kevin said, Country Cottage was the answer. That's not where we were. We was at the hotel. Check that out, buddy. I'd say it was your turn, but I already told Nick it was his turn. So, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I told him race to the finish. That is, that's an amazing feeling. Um, I work in other UPS and I do deal with post office stuff every week. I wonder why. Well, that's UPS though. We're talking like. Yeah, that's. Oh, post that office. Be, yeah. Just kidding. I was thinking UPS. P did you hear is whatever did you hear dutch um found a snapping turtle in his little pond with, yes um actually when he when he he actually found him he sent me a a video and uh i told him i was like you better watch his neck his neck will go back really far and he didn't listen brandy he went and picked him up i'm surprised he didn't lose finger Nico said, yes, congratulations. I was hoping to see it. So happy for y'all and everyone in the Eddie family community. Yes, it's it's amazing. Um, it's so crazy that it's already here. But, you know, really, um, we was at 57,000 and it just blew up. And, yeah, um, hopefully we c it continues. Oh, what? I went, I was like, mm, I don't see if I gained any subscribers and I'm down one. <laughs> we have been following you since you started back when Steph was super shy to be on camera. I don't know. That's not me. Brandon, take a pick of a silver play button and take it to the expo. Oh yeah. Yeah, you could take a picture of it. Yeah, there's gonna to be tons of uh, your video will be out too. Video will be out. And um I don't know. I may I may bring it, you know. I like to um yeah. Um uh, UPS surpost is the service to use if you're sending UPS and going to the P.O. box, drop with UPS and USPS, the final delivery can't use regular ground service. I thought you were like swatting flies or something down yeah. here. I was like, I didn't do it. <laughs> Make a shirt of it. Lena says, Stephanie, I will try again. Try having case and gargle with salt, warm salt water, but be sure he doesn't swallow if it helps with soothing his throat and heal too yeah we'll we'll do that i have nothing wrong against controlled burns but i feel your children should not be helping with that as it is very dangerous get a few friends out there over and get them to help well that's the kids really don't have to they don't have to help but that's that's where we are different from everybody we want our our kids to be aware of all the situations i mean you know, we're not going to put them in danger, but I want to show them if you put gasoline on a fire, what will happen. I want to show them if you put diesel on a fire, what will happen. So if they're ever out there and see a fire and they've got gas going to make it bigger, I want to, I just want them to be able to be experienced uh, with all that. And it's everything we kind of do is um, together. I actually think we're probably fixing Hoff Bob here and uh, we'll probably take him to the ER. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and close this out tonight, guys. Just keep casing in y'all's prayers. Thank y'all so much for all y'all's love and support. And we're going to go take care of him and we'll keep y'all up to date. So hope you all have a wonderful night. God bless.